Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at Justin's Fish Room and today we're going to be actually doing a lot of moving around. Um, so as you guys know, I am finished with uni for quite a few months now, I have no research projects over the um, summer break, so a lot of free time to just spend on fish and as you can see I've already got to work with the plants, started getting my Kabumba um, stock back up. Uh, making sure that this tank will be ready for my future breeding stock uh, which we'll be doing today actually we'll be selecting out some rams for my future breeding stock I don't like breeding rams for too long um, just based off research and seeing what other breeders do overseas you know that one year mark is is perfect um, just to you know retire those adults let them live a healthy long life and then let the next generation take over the breeding for another year. I want to make sure that I am getting new lines of rams going and as you guys know I do have the electric blue rams uh, that I got quite a while ago now and I want to start getting serious about breeding them. So we'll do that, uh, we'll get some other pairs of different types of rams going and maybe a tank dedicated to something a little different uh, might change something up. Just for you guys and for my, my own interest in the hobby um, yeah, I think there's a lot of exciting stuff to come, so hang in tight and I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty everyone, so the first thing we're going to do today um, is I'm actually going to get the GBRs and Blue Black Rams. These are the juveniles that were from this tank, but they were the most dominant fish and starting to get their colors really um, at a really early stage. So they've got in here, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see from there, but um, they're already a lot bigger than these guys. So these guys I'm going to move into the community tank so that they can go out with their you know, last growth stages and get to that really nice big size that's characteristic of these GBRs. Um, or my line of GBRs and they're gonna hopefully pair up in there and start breeding as well so that's the first thing we're gonna do so let's get into it so as you can see they're actually really beautiful for only a few weeks old um, and there's heaps of different types that there is actually a uh, blue black but it's gonna get more dark as it gets older that's obviously a GBR male blue black blue black GBR so these guys are all gonna be moved now Alrighty, so I'm just going to the community tank now and I will be moving them to this tank here. So this is my community tank, it's got quite a few tannins in it at the moment. Um, that's Kel coming to say hey, hey, <laughs> duck weed all over my arm. Um, so yeah, so we're going to move them into here, um, you can already see there's like some little tiny baby black rams in here, there's some adults in here as well. So we're just going to leave those in here and put these guys in. So I'm going to try to get some of the duckweed out and quite a few of the snails out too, but I'll show you um, these guys going in. Alrighty, so I've added some water to their container. Um, you saw I didn't include a lot of their um, native tank water, if that makes sense, their water from their other tank. Um, and I'm just going to release them now. So you can see how the tannins in this tank really take away from the colour, but um, they're looking good. They'll do really well in this tank too. Um, there's already this guy who's been in here since he was a tiny little wriggler. 
so he'll kind of show them the ropes if they don't know where food is or anything like that but should be pretty pretty okay Alright everyone, so I've got the remainder of the GBRs and blue black rams in here and so I'm just going to go ahead and start acclimating them so I just move it underneath here under the light and then just get some water from the tank and just put little bits in at a time and so I just got to keep on doing that until they'll be acclimated and I can move them in to this tank and hopefully as I start reducing the tannins it's going to start uh, bringing out the colors more and in future videos it's going to look really cool again I don't know if you guys remember from previous videos like early on when I started doing YouTube this tank was just full of these vivid beautiful rams and I'm kind of striving to get that again I'm actually already seeing all the rams we just put in eating and you know scavenging so that's really really cool So here you can see one of the blue black rams just chilling by the rock. Um, one thing I love about these rams is they're always so confident. You know, they always um, come right up to you when you walk into the room and that is one thing that I just love about rams in general. So you can see them all swimming everywhere pretty much, scavenging, uh, doing what they, what they like doing. And that is a great sign. Alright everyone, so now that we've got all of the rams out of this tank, I'm actually going to focus on rescaping this tank ready for a breeding tank, which will be it for a, selecting, a selection of these guys basically for breeding. Um, I actually might do that in a different video, because this is taking a lot longer than I thought, but um, that's okay. I've got plenty of time to do that. so. I think the next thing I'm going to do today is actually move half of these guys into here so they can start growing and then these guys, uh, the ones that I put in here, will grow nice and fast as well and then I might do a 50% water change in each of these tanks um, which I've been doing every one to two days depending on how, what, what, I, what I'm doing so um, yeah I think I might do that now and I will pick up the camera once I've finished. Alrighty, so I have now reduced the number in this tank by roughly half um, and I'm going to put some of the fry in that tank and hopefully these guys should grow a lot better. Eventually I will move them all to the community tank once I think they're ready. And, ah, there's a super red bristle nose, he doesn't come out very often, there's a few of them in here. But um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing these guys grow a lot more now that they've got more space. So here is a tub of GBR juveniles of varying ages and you can see there's so many different sizes in here. Starting to get some really nice colors too so that's a really great sign at this stage. Um, a great indicator for me that the quality of this brood is or this spawn is very very good. Or this batch of fry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let them out because it's the same parameters, same temperature and everything. So. Cool. Already starting to scavenge around. I'm going to do a big 50% water change on both uh, the fry tanks today. There's a lot of food in here and they'll get some um, they'll get some of the BBS as well. You can see those are black celestial fry 
often quite smaller but definitely a lot darker and there's quite a few of them in here which is great I'm gonna have to get the snails under control because as you can see there's just snail eggs everywhere they're really good to have especially with uneaten food but sometimes it's just a little bit too much um, as you guys are probably aware I think in this hobby we have a lot of problems with um, with snails and you can see some of them are getting such good colors so very very happy with that so that's actually one interesting thing to point out is with rams there's a huge um, there's a huge emphasis on um, a size principle in a way where the fish will not grow if they are surrounded by so many other rams and I've mentioned this in previous videos um, that like the uh, ideal number of rams per tank to grow out would be something like this. These guys are massive. Like, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but these rams are big, big fish. Um, even the females. And so there is a golden ratio of uh, males to females, but there's also um, a golden quantity that I'm still trying to work out. It's roughly about that, because that's, that's a really good result with the growth from that. Um, and I think it was roughly about the same in here of the fish that I moved to the community tank. So if you guys just bear with me over time, I'll be able to tell you guys uh, what that golden quantity is. I'd say it's probably like 50 for a two foot tank. Um, and that's, that. Like you have to factor in the fact that I do water changes every one to two days, 50%. Um, so that, that water up there is pristine. Like when you look straight into that tank, it doesn't look like there's water at all. It looks like it's just floating fish in air. It's pretty cool. But to keep that um, water quality up is extremely crucial in growing rams. Now this tank has a heap of albino plecos in it as well. And as you guys know, I've been trying to use up all the remaining wafers, algae wafers that I got. I got this big box of algae wafers um, from just a generic pet store and the quality of them is obviously not great because it clouds up the water but I will be investing in the future into some hikari or something like that um, just to make sure that my plecos are getting the nutrients they need and also doesn't cloud up the water too much but I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone uh, for being so patient and waiting for me to uh, finish my assessment from uni. Um, everything went really well over uni if you're wondering and um, yeah now I can just focus on fish which is great. Planning a few camping trips again so that'll be really good. It's starting to get quite hot in Australia as well or in Queensland so um, there's a lot of things that I'm wanting to do and I'd love to bring you guys along the way all these projects that I'm doing so at the moment it's just kind of shuffling things around like I'm gonna have to uh, start selecting out of there but I decided against it today because I think the fry need, needed more attention and um, I'll do that in a next video because I've also got to shuffle everything around there as well so it's gonna be pretty interesting I'm gonna have to think about what I'm doing in particular um, there's a balloon ram in there which is really cool. It's the first one of its kind in Australia. I've got a really nice breeder on the north side of Brisbane who's going to be taking that fish and breeding it because I don't really have the time or facilities um, or the, the support to do that um, in terms of whether I could pass, like sell them on and that sort of thing. But I'm so happy that I found a breeder who is willing to do that. So. Really exciting times ahead for, for rams in Australia. Really exciting times for you at home as well. Um, if you guys are getting ready to also start to do projects. So just keep me updated on what you guys are doing. Um, I also need some inspiration for scapes. So if you guys want to send me a message on Instagram, um, you know, Justin's Fish Room, then please do that. I really need some inspo. Um, I'm also learning all the time. So if you guys could give me some tips and tricks for aquascaping. I don't want something too technical. I don't want the plants to be too technical. Something like that 
but completely different. So if you guys have any tips, please send them my way. I would really appreciate it. Um, without further ado, I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Just say hi or, you know, tell me a cool fact about Rams that I didn't know, something like that. Um, that would be great. Alrighty, see you in the next one and happy fish keeping. Cheers guys.